Hello, I'm Di Roberts from the Insight School of Art and I'm going to show you some simple drawing exercises and I hope you enjoy them. I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic eye. I'm using quite a soft pencil, um, not pressing on too hard, and a nice gentle curve for the top lip and also a gentle curve for the bottom lip. Don't make the mistake of drawing an almond shape. It isn't going to be an almond. In fact, what happens is at the tear duct, it comes around with a bit of a blob um, that you're going to shade in soon. The eyelid follows the same curve around the top and the iris, the coloured part of the eye, is in fact a circle that you can't see the top of and you can just about see the bottom of. So if you can sketch lightly to start off with to get the circle shape, but you're missing out the top part, hidden by the top lid. Dead centre of that circle is a pupil, very dark, and I'm going to shade that in in a moment. Don't make the mistake of drawing what you think an eye looks like. Either look at a good quality image or look in the mirror and you'll see that the light coming from above will shade under the top lid. So let's get rid of that line by making it part of that shadow. Right the way across, including the iris and the white of the eye. That gives the idea that the eye is rounded. It isn't just a flat piece of paper. It's actually got depth to it. It goes around underneath as well. So we can just shade up from that line, let the line disappear into the shadow. And also at the side of the eye, where that tear duct is, lots of dark shading, some highlights, and come in from there, quite heavy shading, and then you're going to lighten up as you come round. Same at the side, coming round like that. In order to make the eye look realistic, we need a blob of light. And a good place to put it is to one side and above the pupil, maybe cutting into it a little bit. So we can start now to shade that pupil, which is actually, as you should know, is a hole in the middle of the eye where the light goes in and hits the back of the eye so that we can actually see. Really dark, as dark as the pencil will go. You could use a softer pencil. I'm using a 2B, but you could go into a 6B, and really power it in. And now this is the trick. Bicycle spokes come out from the pupil towards the edge of the iris. Don't spend too long on this because you're going to shade over it. But just to give you an idea of lines radiating out from the pupil. And you can also do the same radiating in from the edge of the iris. Depending on whether your model or your image that you're working from has blue or brown eyes or very dark grey, very pale ones. This will depend on how much pressure you put on at this point. You might just leave it like that and that's a light coloured eye. Or you might decide let's have a bit more shading at the sides of the iris for a darker eye. And I'm using the side of the pencil a little bit at this point. Okay, getting there slowly. Building up the shadows. You can spend ages just working away or you can do the cheat way, which is using your finger to smudge. And I think it's actually very effective. Those lines will still be visible, but we can just soften up the shading a little bit and get a very interesting soft effect, leaving areas of light showing. Right, what we're missing now is the eyelid and the eyelashes. This is just not a solid flat piece of, of card. It's a piece of flesh that rolls around. So let's start at where it meets the eye itself and just put a bit of shading to soften up the line and gradually darken up into the eyelid, into the crease of the eyelid. Is this, the, this is the inner part of the eye here. So it closes up towards the duct and that area was going to be quite shaded. The nose is over here. So there'll be some shadow cast from the nose over to this area here. And again, the finger blending technique works nicely here. And pull across like that. 
a bit more shading up towards the eyebrow, which we're not going to focus on just now, but it's up there and it's just little lines of hair. Talking of hair, eyelashes, don't make the mistake of doing them all straight and all even. They're not. There's nothing straight and even in nature. They come out from the tear duct quite loosely, just above the line of the eye itself. And quite random, you can have one or two tucking up the other way. You can even have one or two going over the eyelid into the eye itself. And the more random and loose, the more realistic. Go right over to the side. And we can do the same below the eye. Just here and there, little lines curved, some little stumpy ones, very loose and random. And let's have a bit of shading under here as well, just to add a bit of realism to the under part of the eye. Okay, this is how to draw a realistic eye.